Anna. Nej, det har aldrig lyttet af. Det er svært. Is that disrespectful? Hey, Anna. Where's my beanie? Well, it's not high enough. Um, Anna, I'm dying to know what you think of Meghan Markle. Um, I read somewhere that um, there were members of the royal household that were confused and upset that she woke up so early at 5 a.m. She's a normal Californian girl, gets up early and does yoga and meditates, and also sent a lot of text messages. I mean, what did they expect, that she was going to send messages via pigeon? So uh, I think she's amazing. And the royal wedding had the whole world watching, and I think that her choice was brilliant. It was sophisticated, it was chic, it was grown up. It was an English designer, albeit one that was working for a French house which in a way was a message to the world. Yes, I'm from somewhere else, but I belong. I thought she looked fantastic. The fact that she chose to walk down the aisle by herself, I also thought spoke for an independent woman. And I think the picture of uh, the Duchess of Sussex's mother at the uh, chapel at the wedding was so inspiring to so many women, men all over the world. I think the, the two duchesses, the young duchesses that they have in Britain, the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex, are going to keep the royal family afloat, quite frankly. Platforms, yes or no? Absolutely yes. Do you believe in a signature uniform to wear? Well, it can get kind of boring, <laughs> a signature look. So I think uh, it's good to shake it up every now and again, cut your hair. I'm probably the last person you should be asking because I've had the same haircut for a hundred years and I've worn my glasses for a hundred years and I tend not to change. Women that I admire that have an amazing uh, signature style are women like Vanessa Redgrave, whom you always see looking absolutely immaculate in shades of silver, gray, camel with beautiful jewelry and it's just always appropriate. Or somebody like Lupita who's taken such risks on the red carpet, but all this always has looked like herself. She's never not looked uh, like Lupita, but is fearless in her choices. When we're surrounded by so many celebrities that you feel are dictated to by their stylists and dictated to by uh, you know what the press may think of them and therefore end up in a strapless fishel sequin dress that we've seen 5,000 times. So I, I admire both. I admire women that have a signature style and I admire those who take risks. Thank you.